Here we go. Hello. My name is David. This is the commemorative speech for Leonardo DiCaprio for my public speaking class. This is my audience. Juan, Crystal, cameraman Bryce, Emily, Ashley, Stephanie, and Chad. <laughs> That's fine. You okay. can totally show yourself. All right. Yeah. All right. My audience is lovely. All right. So my name is Jordan Belfort. The year I turned 26, I made $49 million, which really pissed me off because that means I was three weeks shy of making a million a week. That was a character that Leonardo DiCaprio brought to life at The Wolf of Wall Street. Now we all know Leonardo DiCaprio from TVs and movies. We feel as if we have known him our entire lives. But how much do we really know about him? How much do you know about what he stands for and how he tries to make the world a better place? In this age, where, where this world is now struck by stronger natural disasters, stronger hurricanes, typhoons, tornadoes, you know, we know that global warming is the real impact on it. And we have the power to slow it and to stop it. Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Maria are perfect examples of what happens when global warming goes unchecked. Now, Leonardo has been fighting to make our world a better place. And he has done his fair share to raise awareness for the environment more specifically, to fight the effects of global warming. Now, we all know Leonardo is a man who has touched our lives in one way or another. With his award-winning performances, he has made us cry, he has made us laugh, he has made us reflect. He has inspired us to be the best that we can be. But how did he get here? How did he get to become the incredible person that he is? Now, you don't normally think or know of any Leonardos in real life. You don't really know them offhand in the United States. But his mother was at an art gallery. And the story is that the first time she felt baby Leonardo kick was when she was looking at a Leonardo da Vinci painting. That's how he got his name. In a way befitting the legend that he will become. Now, he dropped out of high school. He got his GED. And he speaks German and Italian. And for part of his childhood, he lived in Germany. Personally, I always wonder, though, how stars become the way they are. How do they get their big breaks? And how did Leonardo become... Leonardo DiCaprio. Now, when he was a kid, he got into commercials and he got into educational films. But he got his big break when Robert De Niro handpicked him out of 400 other kids to perform in a movie. That's how he got his first break. He then went on to perform in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. And this was his first really big break. This is how he got nominated for a Golden Globe and an Academy Award. And then 1996, he starred in the film uh, Romeo and Juliet alongside Claire Danes when he was playing Romeo. But we all know him from Titanic. This is when he became a mega superstar. He then went on to be nominated 11 times for the Academy Awards and he won three Golden Globes. And he finally won an Academy Award for The Revenant. But now with great power comes great Responsibility. Responsibility, right? I don't know if Leonardo DiCaprio has seen Spider-Man, but the words echo still true with his actions. With his stardom, he then began philanthropy to change the world. In 1998, he founded the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization for raising environmental awareness. It has worked in over 40 countries, so, um, teaching countries how to use renewable energy and preserving Earth's biodiversity. In the year 2000, he chaired the National Earth Day celebration where he then interviewed President, at the time, Bill Clinton, and spoke about global warming. He has, made, he has had a major role in the 11th Hour, which is a documentary about um, the symbiotic relationship between human and nature. Then he made a benefit for, from that movie, and the charity from that movie made over $40 million which is now, at this time, the world's highest grossing event for a charity for the environment. So, pretty impressive. His foundation also awarded $15.6 million to help protect Native Americans and their rights, and, um, Earth's bio and you know, the wildlife for the United States. He has then gone on to produce documentaries such as Cowspiracy and Before the Blood, which are also on Netflix now. Now, he was also one of Times Magazine's 100 Most Influential People of 2016. So this is a direct quote from J John Kerry. 
He has discussed environmental threats directly with world leaders from Vladimir Putin to Pope Francis. And when I invited him to join the State Department's first global Our Ocean Conference, aimed at building collaboration to protect one of our most critical resources, Leo didn't just show up. He put up m millions of dollars for ocean protection as part of the effort. And this is John Kerry again. Leonardo has lived a full life. He has done so much for others. He has made people laugh. He has made people cry. He has made people think about themselves. He has made people wonder what dreams are all are about. You know, he puts his money where his mouth is, though. He believes in climate change and its negative impact. And he does what's in his ability to make the world a better place. He makes effort. If only we could all make effort, then this world will certainly be better. But you don't need to be a celebrity. You don't need to be rich. Although it does help. You can make real change. It's not easy. And I'm sure it would have been easier for Leonardo to not have done anything. But you can change the world. You can let the next generation have what we didn't have for us. You can make the world a better place to live in. You can donate. You can volunteer. You can make little changes in your life that have tremendous impacts on the world. You all have great power. And now you have great responsibility. Thank you. Yeah.